Imagine waking up tomorrow to find your street flooded. Not from a storm, not from a broken pipe, but from the ocean itself, slowly, relentlessly claiming what was once solid ground. Now imagine this isn't temporary. The water never recedes. Your city, your home, your entire way of life, disappearing beneath the waves. This isn't science fiction. This is happening right now, and today, we're taking you on a journey to seven incredible cities that are literally sinking into the sea. By the end of this video, you'll understand why millions of people might soon become climate refugees, forced to abandon the places their families have called home for generations. But before we dive in, and trust me, that pun is intentional, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. This is information everyone needs to know. And by subscribing, you're helping us spread awareness about one of the most critical issues of our time. Let's begin in Europe, in one of the most romantic cities on Earth. Venice, Italy, the sinking masterpiece. Venice, the floating city of canals, gondolas, and Renaissance architecture, is drowning in bitter irony. Built on water, it's now being consumed by it. This UNESCO World Heritage Site, home to St. Mark's Basilica and the legendary Bridge of Sighs, is sinking at approximately 2 millimeters per year. That might not sound like much, but combine it with rising sea levels and you have a disaster in slow motion. The famous Aqua Alta, high water, used to be a rare occurrence. Now, it's becoming the norm. In recent years, the city has experienced devastating floods that submerge St. Mark's Square under more than a meter of water. The Italian government has spent billions on the Mose Project, a system of mobile barriers designed to protect the lagoon, but even this engineering marvel might only buy time, not provide a permanent solution. Scientists predict that by the end of this century, Venice could experience flooding up to 250 days per year. Imagine living in a city where you need to check the tide schedule before leaving your house for eight months of the year. The population has already plummeted from 175,000 in 1951 to barely 50,000 today. Venice isn't just sinking physically, it's disappearing culturally as locals flee and tourists take over. Jakarta, Indonesia, the fastest sinking city. Now let's travel to Southeast Asia, to Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia and home to over 10 million people. Here's a terrifying statistic. Parts of Jakarta are sinking by up to 25 centimeters every single year. That's 10 inches. Think about that for a moment. In just four years, an entire meter of elevation lost. Why is this happening so fast? The main culprit is excessive groundwater extraction. As the city's population exploded, so did the illegal wells drilled to access underground water. When you remove water from beneath the ground, the soil compacts and collapses. Add rising sea levels on top of that, and you have a recipe for catastrophe. 40% of Jakarta already sits below sea level, and the situation is so dire that the Indonesian government made an unprecedented decision. They're abandoning the capital entirely. That's right. They're building a brand new capital city called Nusantara on the island of Borneo, at a cost estimated to exceed $30 billion. Jakarta represents one of the first major examples of climate-driven capital relocation in modern history. But what happens to the millions of people who can't afford to move? That's a question no one has fully answered yet. Drop a comment below and tell us, would you leave your hometown if rising waters threatened it, or would you stay and fight? I'm genuinely curious about your thoughts on this. Miami, United States, Paradise Lost. From Indonesia, we fly west to the tropical paradise of Miami, Florida. With its Art Deco architecture, white sand beaches, and year-round sunshine, Miami has long been the dream destination for millions. But this American paradise is facing an American nightmare. Miami experiences something called sunny day flooding. That's when streets flood, even though there hasn't been any rain. How is that possible? As sea levels rise, salt water pushes up through the porous limestone foundation beneath the city, overwhelming drainage systems during high tides. You can literally watch water bubbling up through storm drains on perfectly clear days. 
the financial implications are staggering. Studies suggest that by 2050, $23 billion worth of property in Miami could be at risk. That's billion with a B. Luxury condominiums that once sold for millions are already losing value as buyers wise up to the risks. The city has invested over half a billion dollars in pumps and raised streets, but these are band-aid solutions to a hemorrhaging wound. Miami represents something unique on our list, a wealthy western city with resources to fight back. Yet even with billions of dollars and cutting-edge technology, experts aren't sure Miami can be saved. If a rich American city can't solve this problem, what hope do poorer nations have? Alexandria, Egypt, where history drowns. Our fourth destination takes us to North Africa, to Alexandria, Egypt. Founded by Alexander the Great in 331 BC, this ancient city has witnessed the rise and fall of empires, housed the legendary Library of Alexandria, and served as a beacon of knowledge for the ancient world. Now, after surviving over 2,000 years of human history, Alexandria might not survive the 21st century. The Mediterranean Sea is rising, and Alexandria's low-lying coast is extremely vulnerable. Experts predict that by 2050, 30% of the city could be underwater, displacing approximately 2 million people. Even more tragically, countless archaeological treasures are at risk. Ancient ruins, some already submerged offshore, could be lost forever, erased from history not by conquerors or time, but by water. Alexandria reminds us that climate change doesn't just threaten lives and livelihoods, it threatens our collective human heritage. When these cities sink, we don't just lose buildings, we lose the physical connection to our past, the tangible evidence of where we came from and who we've been. Maldives, a nation facing extinction. From individual cities, let's zoom out to an entire country. The Maldives, that picture-perfect archipelago of tropical islands in the Indian Ocean, represents the most extreme case on our list. This isn't about one city sinking. This is about an entire nation potentially disappearing from the map. The average elevation of the Maldives is just 1.5 meters above sea level. Some islands are even lower. Scientists warn that 80% of the country could be submerged by the end of the century. The government has discussed contingency plans that sound like science fiction, building floating cities, constructing artificial islands with higher elevations, even purchasing land in other countries to relocate the entire population of 530,000 people. Think about what that means. An entire culture, an entire people, potentially becoming refugees not because of war or persecution, but because their homeland literally ceased to exist above water. The Maldivian government has pleaded at international climate conferences, held underwater cabinet meetings to draw attention to their plight, but the sea doesn't negotiate. If you're finding this information valuable and eye-opening, do me a favor. Hit that like button and share this video. The algorithm will push it to more people, and more people need to understand what's happening to our world. Bangkok, Thailand, the Venice of the East. Speaking of Venice, let's visit another city with that nickname, Bangkok, Thailand. Known as the Venice of the East for its network of canals, Bangkok might become even more Venetian than Venice itself, and not in a good way. Bangkok is sinking at a rate of 2 to 3 centimeters per year due to the weight of its buildings and groundwater extraction. The metropolitan area is home to 10 million people, many living in areas that could be permanently flooded within this decade. Ancient Buddhist temples, some designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, are at risk. The city's famous floating markets might soon be the only markets, as traditional land-based commerce becomes impossible. Thailand's economy depends heavily on Bangkok, and the potential loss of this economic engine would have ripple effects across Southeast Asia. The city is fighting back with improved water management and flood barriers, but like so many places on this list, they're racing against time and rising tides. Basra, Iraq the cradle drowning. Our final destination takes us to the Middle East, to Basra, Iraq. 
This city sits at the confluence of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in ancient Mesopotamia, often called the Cradle of Civilization. How tragically poetic that this cradle might soon be rocking underwater. Basra faces a triple threat. First, rising sea levels from the Persian Gulf. Second, reduced river flow due to upstream damming and climate change. Third, and perhaps most devastating, extreme salinization. As seawater intrudes inland, it contaminates freshwater supplies and agricultural land. The water's salinity has increased fourfold since 1980. 2.5 million people in the Basra region face an uncertain future. Farmland that fed families for generations has transformed into useless salt marshes. The city that once epitomized human civilization's triumph over nature now demonstrates nature's ability to reclaim what we've built. Seven cities. Seven stories. One undeniable truth. From the romantic canals of Venice to the ancient shores of Basra, from American luxury in Miami to island paradise in the Maldives, the ocean is rising and millions of lives hang in the balance. This isn't about the distant future. This is about the next 10, 20, 30 years. People alive today will witness transformations that previous generations could never have imagined. The question isn't whether these cities will be affected. The question is how severely and whether we'll act quickly enough to save them. Before you go, I want to hear from you. Which of these seven cities surprised you most? Did you know about Jakarta's plan to abandon their capital? Were you aware of Miami's sunny day flooding? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. We're committed to bringing you well-researched content about the most pressing issues facing our planet. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Share this video with someone who needs to see it. And remember, knowledge is the first step toward action. The cities are sinking. The question is, will we rise to meet the challenge?